Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Welcome to Add Maths Plus Maths. We are going to deal with lesson about second derivatives, which we all know that when we say second, it's twice that you are doing it. Okay? So, basically, we've learned about derivatives already. If you differentiate y with respect to x, you obtain dy over dx. Okay? And dy over dx is called the first derivative of y with respect to x. So that's the first derivative. Okay? When you do the differentiation in 2, okay? So if you differentiate dy over dx with respect to x, okay? You obtain d over dx or the derivative of dy over dx which is d squared y over dx squared so basically when we say second derivative it is represented by this okay there are other ways on how on how to write second derivative for example first derivative is f prime x so if the function is written like that the first derivative is f prime x. Okay. The second derivative is this one, f double prime x. Okay. So these are ways on how to write it. But basically when we say second derivatives, it is the differentiation of the first derivative. Okay. Let's, have, let's try to do some examples. Sample number one. Given that y is equal to 3x squared minus 5 over x, find the d squared y over dx squared. You remember this? It should, this represents the second derivative. So if you want to get that, you have to find first dy over dx. Okay. dy over dx is equal to by the way, y is equivalent to 3x squared minus 5x to the power of negative 1. Remember, you have a denominator uh, variable x. Move it up, it will become x to the power of negative 1. So it will become 6x plus 5x to the power of negative 2. Okay, so that is the first derivative. To find out d squared y over dx squared get the derivative of this you'll get the second derivative okay so this one will become 1 times 6 is 6 x to the power of 0 is 1 1 times 6 is 6 plus or minus 10 x to the power of negative 3 so this one is equivalent now to 6 minus 10 over x cubed Okay, this will be our answer. Now, let's do another one. Example number two. Let's say you have to find out d squared y over dx squared of y is equal to 4 over square root of x plus 3. Okay, so if you notice, y is equivalent to 4 bracket, okay, x plus 3. Remember, this is 2, 1 over 2, okay, 1 over 2. But again, it is on the denominator. I'll bring it up, it will become negative, okay. Now, since this is the function that I have, okay, basically, if you're going to study you are going to apply chain rule. Let's apply cover-up method. Negative 1 half times 4 is negative 2. Okay? I am basically doing dy over dx. Negative 1 half times, ne times 4 is negative 2. Bring back x plus 3. Negative 1 half minus 1 is negative 3 over 2. Okay? Multiplied by the differentiation of x plus 3 is 1. So it's basically 
negative 2 bracket x plus 3 to the power of negative 3 over 2. That is dy over dx. To find out that second derivative, we'll have d squared y over dx squared. You'll get now negative 3 over 2 times negative 2 is positive 3. Okay? Then bring back x plus 3. Then you subtract this by 1, by one negative 3 over 2 minus 1 is negative 5 over 2 times 1. Do I need to write? No need. Okay? So you'll, ha you'll get the second derivative. If you want to, if you want to watch more examples about second derivatives and its application, please follow the lesson. I'll be doing this as a part one. We will be having part two. Thank you and God bless.